Manchester United fans are no closer to discovering the future ownership of their club despite the third round bid deadline passing at the end of April. Both Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Sheikh Jassim bin Hamad Al Thani remain in the running to buy the Reds. However, many supporters have soured towards the prospect of Ineos' owner taking control after reports emerged stating he was willing to keep the Glazers on as minority stakeholders. Before Sunday's victory over Aston Villa, United fan group the 1958 held a Glazer protest from Deansgate to Old Trafford, demanding the full sale of the club. With tensions high regarding the takeover, men's sport has all the latest takeover headlines. Ratcliffe demands full control of transfers Sir Jim Ratcliffe's takeover bid for Man United reportedly includes a demand that he be allowed immediate control of transfers from the moment a potential deal is agreed according to the Daily Telegraph. Ratcliffe's bid would buy just over 50% of United's shares, leaving the Glazers with a minority shareholding of around 20%, and still exerting a degree of influence over matters at Old Trafford. Ratcliffe's potential deal would not be welcomed by large sections of United's support who have campaigned for the Glazers, whose leveraged buyout in 2005 plunged the club into huge debt, to quit Old Trafford. The final round of bidding moves the club a step closer to ending the five-month saga since the Glazers first announced they were considering selling Man United in November 2022. Sheikh Jassim makes £800 million pledge A fresh report from City AM has outlined that Sheikh Jassim's final offer for the club, which stands at around £5 billion, includes an additional £800 million, which would be set aside for improving the club's infrastructure, mainly much-needed renovations at Old Trafford and the club's Carrington training facilities. The facilities at Manchester United were heavily criticised just months ago by Cristiano Ronaldo, who claimed there had been minimal developments made to the club's infrastructure since his initial departure back in 2009. And he stressed improvements should be made considering the size and stature of the club during his explosive, controversial interview with Piers Morgan prior to his departure. Now and